community in shock. The way she died uh, is not the way she lived. New details about the woman killed when she ran at police with a knife. Leading up to last night's investigation in South Austin, family members tell KXAN today there were no warning signs. Good evening, I'm Robert Hedlock. I'm Shannon Wolfson. This story was breaking news this time last night when APD told us the woman tried to run over three officers with her car and then threatened one officer with a knife. Today, we learned the suspect, Morgan Rankins, had a history of mental illness. KXAN's Brittany Glass spent the day learning more about her history. She grew up here in the church, and so, you know, we have those memories. Senior so Pastor Joseph Parker my, says 30-year-old suspect call. Morgan Rankins came from a strong family, a faithful family. This is a photo from her Facebook. She was here two weeks ago. Uh, in Sunday school participating. The pastor says Rankins wasn't violent. Their personality was, was so warm that uh, you would never think of that. That's why we believe that uh, the mental illness was at play in some way. The family says Rankins managed her mental illness with medication and received strength through her faith. There was no indication we're told she'd stopped taking her medicine. I think it was a great day and things went well. Uh, she was there at the house and left. The scene quickly escalated after Rankins reportedly left her family's home Wednesday evening in South Austin. Police say Rankins tried to run over officers, led them on a brief chase, crashed, and ultimately... She ends up turning around. The officer said she raises her right hand above her shoulder and has a knife in her hand and begins to come at him at a fast rate of speed. Pastor Parker says no one could have predicted what happened. It just apparently just flipped, and so I, I don't know what that was about, uh, but I think she also was burdened at times by having to deal with the mental illness. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. We checked Rankin's criminal history and confirmed she had no record of violent crimes. Police say APD officer Benjamin Rogers fired at Rankin's. He is now on paid administrative leave, and that is standard until the investigation is complete.